President Obama has ordered the first major military deployment of his presidency. We learned late today he's sending an additional 17,000 American troops to Afghanistan. The rural nature of Afghanistan, Afghanistan, 50% of Afghanistan is, is, is basically rural. Um, the rural nature of Afghanistan is precisely why the United States cannot defeat the Taliban mil militarily, because um, the, the United States only has the forces to go and, and control certain urban areas. And when I say urban areas, I mean like seven or eight houses in a crossroads is considered an urban area. And they only have the ability to control these sorts of things. They don't have the, the troop size, nor could they conceivably ever have the troop size to actually control the countryside. It would require hundreds of thousands of troops in every village, which is not a, a tenable situation whatsoever. If we look at Afghanistan, uh, what we can see is, I think, the application of a faulty lesson. Uh, what I think the Obama administration is doing is believing that, well, if 20,000 extra troops uh, suppress violence in Iraq, maybe 30,000 extra troops will suppress violence in Afghanistan. Um, and I think that they're likely to be disappointed. Given the size of the population, given the uh, lack of development, uh, lack of infrastructure, the number of troops that the administration is talking about really hardly amounts to more than a drop in the bucket. You need a ratio of something like one combat force uh, uh, soldier for every 40 people in the country. And what that equates to in uh, Af Afghanistan is well over a quarter million Western combat forces. You see, you need to learn from history that there were half a million Soviet troops in Afghanistan and they could not contain the Afghan resistance. A military solution is not uh, going to bring resolution here. Um, if, it, if, it, if it would have, then the Russians had over half a million soldiers engaged here. The British were actually, uh, you know, they had the territory all around here and they had the largest concentration of British troops during those times and they chose to uh, let it govern itself. So, I mean, it's important to look at some of those, uh, you know, lessons from history and see why was that done and how will it be different today. The Afghans are probably the world champions in resisting foreign domination and infiltration into their country. Uh, they showed this to the Russians uh, in the 20th century. They showed it to the British in the 19th century. But to try and change a society which has never, ever been able to, uh, by force, be changed. It's been known as a graveyard of many great armies. And um, it is not a place where you can bring about change by force. Они начали организовывать отряды, формирование, пошла помощь. И с вот с этого момента, с января, с февраля 80 -го года, до самого вывода до февраля 89 -го года, негатив к нам шел по нарастающей.